Hey everyone, Joe back with Grill Joe's Barbecue, and today is going to be a fun one. We're in round two of the Barbecue Pitmasters YouTube competition, and I'm facing off against John from Salt, Pepper, and Fire. Now, before we get into what we're cooking, I want to give a huge shout out to Drunken Chef. He was my opponent from round one, and he's just an awesome guy. After the competition, he contacted me and he wanted to donate three rubs that he sells for me to give away when my channel hits 500 subscribers. So I need you guys to go check out his channel, check out his videos, subscribe, and then go to his rub website and buy some rubs because they're good stuff. All right, for today's comp, we're doing a burger beatdown, and I'm going to be cooking up three very different burgers, and I hope to really surprise you with the last one. So let's get into it. Let's check it out. You guys ready to cook some burgers? So first off, I bought a brisket. And I know what you're saying. Gorilla, why'd you buy a brisket? You're doing a burger cook-off. Well, because I wanted to. And I bought this. Now, I've never grinded meat up before, but I'm gonna do a super heavy trim on this brisket Grind that down into my beef, and we're gonna make some awesome burgers. Let's get into it. Got the meat grinder put together. Got our meat over here, so we'll just uh, and drop it in. You know, I didn't look up anything on how to do this, so I just figured I'd just, you know, dive right in. Guess we'll get to grinding. And that's all she wrote. Look at that. That is a ton. All right, so I got my ground beef here. And like I said before, I'm gonna do three very different burgers. I'm gonna mix this ground beef up. So for the first one, this is kind of what I would imagine as a typical barbecue steakhouse joint type burger. I'm going to add some Worcestershire sauce. Oh, a little much there. I'm going to be using Smoke Bomb by Uncle Steve's Shakes. If you guys have not tried out his shakes, you guys got to get the whole taster pack. All right. There's burger number one. So that first burger was pretty big, but this second one might be even a little bit bigger. What I'm going to do of a burger I want, and I'm gonna split this in half. The original. This stuff is also amazing. Both thinner and wider. About the same size. Push in the middle on that one. Some smoky Swiss and cheddar Amish classic. So this is already pre-smoked cheese I picked up. I'm gonna cut off a few pieces of this. All right, I uh, got some slices of this. I'm just gonna break it up into smaller pieces. I saw a buddy on YouTube, Mal High Guy Barbecue. He did a burger like this, a Juicy Lucy, they call it. But I wanted to get some smoked cheese, so hopefully this is gonna turn out all right. Might be too much cheese, but that ever a bad thing. All right, I'm gonna take that first patty, lay it on top, smush this guy together. Make sure those edges are squished together so you don't have any cheese gooing out before you need it. All right, bird two, that's a big boy. Now this last burger, I'm not gonna tell you what it is. I really want you guys to try to figure out what I'm making. Leave a comment, let me know what you think I'm making. We'll see how it does. So for this burger, sweet dessert shake. Let's throw this in here, huh? That burger's done. Get it on the plate. I'm gonna cover these guys and put them in the fridge. But that's not the final part of that burger. Ooh. Got some bacon. How can you have a burger cook off without bacon? I'm not just gonna put that on the burger when it's done. That'd be boring. So I can bet some of you can already guess what I'm about to do with this bacon. We are gonna bacon weave. 
first one just be like that. Now that's a nice looking bacon weave. Probably should dessert rub the bacon. I'm gonna place that guy right there. Bring that bacon weave up. Look at that beautiful burger. Boom. All right, guys, got the smoker heated up, got my burgers, we're gonna go out and throw those on to make sure I get the cook perfect using the meat stick. I'm gonna start it in the smaller one, and then when this one's done, I'll move it over to the big one, because this one's definitely gonna take longer with that bacon weave on it. All right, we'll get this out on the smoker. Got the Juicy Lucy, our specialty, traditional smokehouse. All right, we're about an hour and a half in. Boy, oh boy, look at those. Hey everyone, don't forget to follow the link in the pinned comment to go to Smoke and Joe's Pit Barbecue's community page to vote for me to go to round three. All right, so when the brisket burger reached around 145, I pulled it off, and this thing looked good. Juicy, good color, just awesome. And while the burgers were cooking, I actually fried up some homemade onion rings made with some Uncle Steve's original rub mixed in. But when I was plating this burger up, I thought, man, something is missing. And I knew just what it was. The brisket I trimmed these burgers from. So let's slice a couple pieces off this bad boy and then get them on the burger. Look at that juice pouring out. Look at that smoke ring, baby. As I said before, this by itself looks amazing, but we can do better. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. And to top it off, the sauce with no name, of course, Uncle Steve's. Now that's a smoked barbecue burger right there, guys. I don't know if it gets much better than that. All right, guys, for the third burger, that's the bacon wrapped one with the sweet seasoning. I'm going with some sweet Hawaiian buns and a apple maple bacon jam. So we're gonna use four of these as a single bun for that big thing. All right, let's head on out. All right, guys, the burgers are looking good. This is the Juicy Lucy, that guy is ready to come inside. And this is the special one. I'm gonna set down the buns for it. All right, so I'm gonna use this spatula here. I'm just gonna paint on some of this. I'm gonna take this top bun, try to just give it a nice coating. All right, now we'll let that set up. And we'll take our Juicy Lucy in and see how she turned out. All right, as the last burger sets up on the smoker, take a look at the Juicy Lucy. Now for this one, I'm going a little more traditional route. Got our bun, throw that big old honker on there. I'm going with some mayo and ketchup. Just gonna throw on a couple tomatoes, some lettuce, there you go. I'm gonna go check on that last burger, see how she's doing. All right, guys, if you haven't guessed yet, this is my take on a dessert burger. I know 805 and Sleeper had barbecue desserts, but I couldn't miss this chance. We got the sweet rub in the beef. We got the sweet rub on any bacon. We got the glaze on the sweet Hawaiian rolls. I mean, come on, let's get this plated up. Here's my take, the Juicy Lucy, the Thick Brisket Burger, and the Dessert Burger. Ooh, baby, let's get them cut up. First up, that barbecue 
brisket burger. Ooh, baby. Pieces of brisket just falling right out. It's not pouring out, but that's cheese filled in the middle. Hefty burger. All right, let's do some taste testing. We got the brisket burger first, the barbecue brisket burger. I might have made these patties a little too thick. Woo! That's amazing. The, the onion rings on top of the brisket, on top of the brisket trimming burger, like holy crap. I'm gonna be going back to that one. Now let's try this Juicy Lucy. That smoky cheese inside of that burger just adds so much to it. I know there's, the whole thing is smoked, but when that cheese, it just gives it a different taste. Another really good one. And now the one I'm most curious about is this dessert behemoth. <laughs> let's give it a try. actually really good there's a lot of sweetness in there from all the uh, Uncle Steve's sweet shakes it's just an explosion of flavor of course my homemade onion rings great crunch the Uncle Steve's shake in that awesome man if I had to pick a winner I think I'm going back to this uh, this brisket burger so I'm gonna keep eating Make sure you guys go check out John at Salt, Pepper, and Fire to see his video. And then go to Smoke and Joe's Pit Barbecue's community page to vote on which video you like the most. If you like mine, make sure you vote for it so you can see more of this cooking in round three. Thanks, guys.